Hey guys, what's up? Just, just got to the cabin. And it's fall. It's end of September, so it's kind of like not peak season. Um, we rent this out when we're not uh, up here. So you want to rent that out, that's the number right there. But I wanted to finish up this ham shack. Uh, so when I first showed you this about a year and a half ago, I wanted to kind of try to explain to you what I was going to finish the shed, maybe possibly make it into like a game room slash ham shack. And uh, last fall I finished the upstairs, I made a bunch of videos of me uh, rebuilding the upstairs. But, alright, so first things first. Alright, it's kind of a mess in here, so. The goal is to finish this room up. Now, it's not up to code, you can tell by the framing, it's not 2x4s and the Ceiling joists aren't two by six, and you can tell by the spacing. Um, they should be 16 inches apart. So this is definitely not going to be a living space, but I'm going to drywall it, make it into like a slash game room slash ham shack. And so right now there's no power in here. And that's what I got to do first. I got to put power in here. So there's no lights in here, no power. I mean, there's a skylight. That kind of helps, but I need to get some power in here. So. I show you what I want to do. Actually, I brought my electrical box from the beach where I live. All right. There we go. Oh, it's getting dark. <laughs> Better get started with this today. Um, all right. So I'm going to actually uh, run the conduit. I'm going to flip this stuff up, dig a trench over to the the shed over there, and I'm actually going to. Put, I'm gonna create like a, like a little PVC water jet, and I'm gonna bust up a hole, bust a hole in that concrete right there. Then I'm gonna go up to this electrical box right here. So I'm gonna be running uh, one for uh, power and one for data. So my goal is to run. I'm gonna run three Cat 6A wires from here over to the. Uh, this is like a closet where the internet comes in. So I want to actually have hardwired data. I mean. Wireless sucks. You know, it, it's all right, but it's you know I'm gonna have a TV in here. I'm gonna have a TV in there and some uh, probably like a game console for kids and uh, some ham radio computer stuff. So I want direct wire if I can do it. So. All right. So hardest part first is to clean this area up right here and then create like a trench and then I have my hammer drill. And I'll show you that. I'm gonna bust a hole in that concrete. So all right, better start hauling ass. Sun's going down. I want to get this done today, so, all right. All right, pretty interesting there. I don't know if you can see that, but it's solid stone going down. And, like that's, that a foot, I think I can see that. But I'm thinking, I don't know, because this, like I said, I've never lived on this house for a year and a half, so. Think about it. Because that shed is pretty, pretty new. I'm guessing this rock wall, like that, goes all the way down that way. So I'm gonna use my hammer drill and see if I can get a hole busted through, you know, like right here, through those rocks. See how far it goes. All right, hopefully that bit is long enough right there, but that's actually the uh, hammer drill I use for my, uh, whatever, my business. And I'm actually an IT guy and a cabling contractor. And, we use that to uh, drill a hole in concrete for network racks, for like telco data racks. So, all right. Get that bus. Oh. Damn, that was a serious bitch. All right, I put my arm there. See if it's any more rocks in there, and then it should be a straight shot back to that electrical box. So, all right, I'm totally out of breath. Like the first day that I get up here, I'm totally out of breath because the air is so much thinner down here. We're up here, you know. I live at the the beach, so the air is really humid and thick. All right, all right. So I cut some PVC and. I put that hose bib on there, or the hose end on there. All right. 
And then I'm just letting the glue dry. I'm gonna slide it. Use the uh, water as a jet to jet the dirt away, and hopefully I'll be able to get under the under the concrete like that. And then I'm gonna bust a hole right there, like I already said, and hopefully meet the ends. All right, there it is. I don't want to bust a hole near the side until I know I can get through, but I'm going to work this if I can. Alright, we'll see. Alright guys, I'm through. Look. <laughs> I also have a gopher hole here. Look at that. It started acting like a drain, but I'm through on this side. So... Cool. So now I busted the concrete on that side. Not exactly where I want to be, but I think I'll move back over. Because I need to actually run two conduits, so I need to make this hole bigger, so. All right, that's crazy, the gopher hole sucked in all the water. All right, didn't expect to see that pipe right there. Well, I got the concrete done. And uh, I'm really lucky I didn't put a hole in that thing. That's actually right while I was drilling, so. Um, the I said, I don't know. on there and uh, let the glue dry and then once the glue dries I'm going to pull up hopefully I, I can screw it to right here I'm going to fill this with sand and then put concrete back in there so interesting though so yeah that's I think it's copper I can't tell for sure I mean it looks like copper I don't know but uh, very lucky I didn't I'm not doing water repair right now water pipe repair or gas repair pipe Alright. Alright, there it is. Done yet, but I think I got it right into the box. But So, the data line is going to go off that way. Go over to my closet over there. So, like I said, I'm going to run the. I wanted this one thicker because I'm running uh, Cat 6A, uh, which can do 10, 10 gigabit. So, um, I wanted to run good wire because I have to put it in the wall. So, best stuff I have. And then I gotta reattach it over here, so. Alright, I'll be back tomorrow. Let's see what's up. Alright, there it is. So, the con what's wrong. That's not straight yet because I'm gonna move that over an inch or so. Alright. Cool. Alright, there it is. So, this other side's gonna go off 90 degrees. Next time I can run the wires. Keep going.